Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be all about some drugstore makeup products that I feel are priced too high. I saw Lauren My Beauty do this one recently. I think she called her video like drugstore prices that need to check themselves or something like that. And I thought the video was really fun, so I will have hers linked down below. But as I was watching her video, there were so many items that were ringing in my head like, oh, I remember thinking that about this one. I remember thinking that about this one. And I thought it would be a fun video to do. So I have 10 products here from the drugstore that I think are priced too high, that are overpriced. The prices caught me off guard with these guys. One thing that I do want to mention before we get started is that I do live in the United States of America, so I am going to be going off of our pricing, what is regular for us, what is normal to us at the drugstore. I fully understand that it could be different based on the country that you live in, just as the currency exchange could be different, the housing market, the job market, your healthcare system could be different than what we have in the US. So. I did want to point that out. I am in the US and that is what I'm basing this video off of, so please do keep that in mind. If you live in another country and this video style format will bother you because of your different prices in your different countries, I post a video every single day and maybe you will enjoy tomorrow's video or check back on yesterday's video. I still thought this video could be fun to do because especially more and more lately, we've been seeing drugstore prices and some drugstore brands start inching up, inching up, inching up, and some of the prices have definitely really caught me off guard as of lately. So like I said, I do have 10 different products that I want to chat about, so why don't we go ahead and get started. So the first product that I want to talk about is the one that when I was watching Lauren's video, this is the one that I commented with on her video, if that makes sense. Because as I was watching it, this was the very first one that popped into my mind, and I feel like this maybe was one of the first times that I was like, whoa, I didn't know drugstore prices got this high. I went to my CVS, it was over the summertime. I went to my CVS once because I was starting to hear a foundation being really talked about on YouTube and I thought, I wanna give that a try. I went to CVS, I found the foundation, I found my shade, I grabbed it, I was like, sweet, found it. And then I glanced at the price and it was $17 for a drugstore foundation and I said, Nope, <laughs> I put it right back. I'm talking about the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Foundation, or as I was looking it up for this video, the proper name for it apparently is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Tint, because it's supposed to be a very light coverage foundation. And when I was hearing people talk about it, a lot of people compared it to like a BB cream or something like that. And I was doing this in the summer where I typically wear lighter coverage. I don't do a ton of full coverage in the summer. Um, I do BB creams, I do powder foundation, something just a little bit lighter on my skin. So that's why I was thinking like, oh, this could work out really well for me. But then when I saw it was $17, I didn't even have that thing in my hand for a minute before I put that back. I was like, dang, because I think to my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, that was $28 for me. So I'm like, to spend $10 more and get a really full coverage, long lasting foundation that I love, I was like, man, Neutrogena, that is really expensive. One other thing that I wanted to say about drugstore makeup is that it's, sometimes it can be hard talking about prices with drugstore because prices can vary from CVS to Walgreens to Walmart to Ulta to the brand's website, you know, things like that. Some retailers you can use coupons on, some you can't and all of that. I'm just gonna be going off of the retail value price that I saw. Um, so I did want to make sure to point that out because with the Neutrogena one, it was $16.99 on some, web on some websites and then on the Neutrogena website, it said it was for sale for $14.99. So <laughs> hey there, but I'm just going off retail price, um, same as Lauren did in her video. Next up, of course, I was going to mention this one. Of course I was. These are the NYX In Your Element palettes. I purchased one myself. I purchased the Fire palette and I was immensely disappointed in this. These palettes came out, I, I can't even think how many months back it was. I'll insert a, a photo of the Fire palette here. But I was really excited when NYX was gonna drop these and as that they were like showing them and hyping them up, I was like, yes, I want one of these palettes. I picked out the Fire palette because the yellow and the red, I was super excited for it. I had already made up my mind that I was gonna purchase it. And in my mind, I'm like, it's NYX, it's affordable. This is gonna be great. And then they dropped the prices and they were $30 for a drugstore eyeshadow palette. And I thought, what? How did this happen? And the reason why I still purchased it, I had pretty much just talked myself into it anyways, but I was like, you know what? If NYX is charging $30 for an eyeshadow palette, they must firmly believe in that eyeshadow palette. They must think this palette 
is the freaking bomb. I know that there's a bunch of influencers that worked with NYX on their In Your Element palettes and I have to say though, I was, I was super disappointed in that palette. I ended up returning mine because it was not worth $30. Not even that it was NYX not, were not worth $30, it wasn't worth $30 even if it would have come from a higher end brand. And it's crazy to me that NYX charged $30 for that eyeshadow palette and then Huda Beauty recently released her um, smaller palettes, the Obsession palettes. I now have two of them and those are $27. And I really enjoyed the quality of those. And I was so unimpressed with the NYX one. I used it in a first impression video. People saw me struggling to make that palette work. I was really disappointed. They're not even available on the Ulta website anymore. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if you can still find them in stores. But they're not available on the Ulta website. But I did see on the NYX website that they've now been reduced to $15. And I'm like, yeah. They should be $15 next. <laughs> like, why, why are you charging us $30? That is crazy. But another drugstore brand that recently hit us with the $30 eyeshadow palette is Maybelline. When Maybelline came out with their collaboration with model Gigi Hadid, those were some inflated prices. And I, like, I had learned my lesson by that time. I was like, I am not even, you are not getting me on this one, Maybelline. Watching some people who got the products in PR or some people who bought them anyways. And from what I heard, on a whole, of course there are some people who love certain things and, and vice versa, but as a whole it seemed like it wasn't worth the $30. And I just thought that was crazy for, for Maybelline to come out with a price that high as well. And that one, you know, you kind of felt like you were paying for Gigi Hadid's name, which I don't know. I just thought that was kind of crummy. I guess if you're collaborating with a brand that's known for being affordable, why can't you still keep your prices affordable? I don't know. That one, that one bothered me. I did not get suckered into that one though. Maybelline did not get my $30 on that one. But next up is a primer that I have wanted for a very long time. I feel like this primer was always really hyped about on YouTube, especially when I first started watching it and everybody was saying like, this is a really good primer from an affordable brand. I was like, yeah, but why is it not more affordable? I'm talking about the NYX Angel Veil Primer. So I found it for the retail price of about $16. And this is one where like I would see it at my Target and I'd be like, I really want to get that. People say good things about it. I still hear people saying good things about it and using it. But it was $16 for a primer. And I'm like, I just don't know if I can do that. I wanted to include it on my list because it's always been one of those that have been on like my makeup wish list. I've just never given into it. And also though, I will say a couple of years back when I was first starting YouTube and getting into it, I was someone who didn't believe in primers. Maybe now I would consider it more, but honestly still, I have some really good drugstore primers that are less than that. The Flower Beauty new primers that they came out with, I'm very much impressed with, and those are either $12 or $13. So, I don't know. The NYX Angel Veil, man, that was, I can remember one day at Target, I had it, I had it in my little hand for a while, and then, uh, and then I added more makeup to my cart, and I was like, you know what, you can't spend that much money. And the Angel Veil primer went back. Who has tried it? Do you think it's worth the price tag? Did you get it on sale? Let us know. Next up on my list is one that I just kind of have a funny story about as well because I went back and forth on if I should include this, but I like telling stories. I'm an author. I, this is what I do for a living. I enjoy telling stories, so I'm going to tell this story. But this one is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, and I found it for $14.99. This is one that I actually still have and still do own. I think that this might be the first Physician's Formula product that I bought. It's either this or the Butter Bronzer, and I can't really remember, but for some reason I want to say that this came first. And people were talking about this. Physician's Formula was a new brand to me, and I was like, ah, I really want to try it. But I remember going to my CVS and seeing the $14, $15 price tag and being like, is that too much money to spend on a face palette? So I didn't buy it, I didn't buy it, I didn't buy it. Two different shades of this one and mine I got in the matte sculpting because it has a setting powder, a contour, and a bronzer which I've been into face palettes for a very long time because this was quite some time ago. I finally ended up buying it when Physicians Formula went buy one get one half off I think it was. I bought one for myself and I bought one to put into a giveaway. That is when I finally broke down and decided to buy it because I just could not pay full price for it. You guys know I'm a deal chaser. I could not pay full price for this. But why I wanted to still include it in this video is because when I was looking for the price of it and I saw the $14.99, my first thought was, oh, that's not that much money. And I just thought it was interesting how the mindset can change over, you know, I'm going to say a year, a year and a half. 
a year and a half ago when I went to buy this, I refused, refused to pay full price for it because I thought it was too expensive for drugstore. But it's almost like as you get used to the drugstore prices climbing and you get used to these higher price tags, all of a sudden what you thought was pricey before is all of a sudden not so pricey. So I just thought that was interesting and I thought that I would include it in here. And that's another thing too, you know, when you think about how prices differ from country to country, you, you really do have to keep in mind that it's kind of unfair to judge, especially the person who's just talking about the prices. We don't make the prices. That's just what we pay for them so it's really hard to say well my prices are higher over here it's like yes I agree with that but there's all these other different factors that you also have to include in and you just kind of have to go off of what you are used to so I thought this was interesting that I used to think it was priced super super high and now I'm like hmm not as bad as I once thought it was that was intriguing to me so I wanted to include it in here but yeah I can remember wanting this so badly but I waited I held out I held out for that deal so next up I have an item here from Pixie Beauty. Now Pixie Beauty is one of those brands that I kind of feel like has always been a little bit higher priced than some of the other drugstore brands. Um, but when I was looking through what I could mention, because honestly there was, I felt like there was quite a few items from Pixie that I could mention. Because like I said, that's kind of what I feel about their brand overall. But I found uh, a contour powder from them. A single contour powder. For $20. And I was like... Wow, that's pretty expensive for one contour powder because Anastasia just released bronzers, single bronzers, and those are $28. So like, you spend $8 more and get Anastasia. And the balm just came out with the new powders as well. And I use the shades as both contour and bronzer shades, and I think those are $14.50 from the balm. So even cheaper than Pixie Beauty. I thought that was pretty wild, but has anybody tried these Pixie contour powders? I have not myself, and honestly, I don't think I would, I don't, I don't think I would pay the $20 for it. That just seems pretty darn pricey. Uh, another product that I want to talk about is a newer release, and these are from Milani, and these are their new eyeshadow palettes that they came out with. They have, I think it's called the Bold Obsessions eyeshadow palette, and then they have a matte one as well, and these are retailing for $20. I did mention them in a Will I Buy It video, and I said I was interested in them. I'm just kind of unsure about the price point, because I don't know, $20 for a drugstore eyeshadow palette does just seem high to me, but it's crazy because as we are being introduced to the $30 eyeshadow palettes, then sometimes I have this, this inkling of like, maybe $20 isn't that bad. And I'm like, dang it, what happened to like, the $10 eyeshadow palettes or like, the Wen Wild palettes that are like, five or six dollars, what happened to that? But I will say that these Milani palettes do seem to be getting good uh, feedback and reviews. People seem pretty excited about them. And I know when I mentioned it in a past video, some people are also saying that you can find them at Walmart for more of like the $15 price range, which I definitely think is better. But the retail price on them is $20. And I did check the Milani website and they are listed at $20 at Milani at the time that I was putting this list together. But I thought that was kind of high. But who has them? Do you like, do you think they're worth the $20? Let me know if you want to see a video on drugstore prices that are higher but I think are worth the price. I could totally do a video like that as well. Uh, another product that I wanted to mention is a brush set from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And this is called their Beautifully Precise Brush Set. I think I'm saying that correctly. I'll have everything listed down below, of course. So this guy is $65 for six brushes from e.l.f. Elf is one of those brands that I feel like normally keep their prices pretty darn low. And as we've been seeing drugstore prices climb, there's a few of those brands that are that are staying strong in their drugstore zone. But when I saw $65 for six brushes from Elf, I was like, I my like some of my first makeup brushes when I was starting to build my collection came from e.l.f. because they were the one dollar and two dollar brushes that I could get at Target that I could get at my local grocery store in the beauty section they have e.l.f. they have their one dollar brushes in there like some of my very first brushes were the one to two dollar brushes and all of a sudden I'm seeing sixty five dollars for six brushes I was like damn I saw this set come out and I actually do have one of the brushes. It's, um, I use it for contour, I used it for contour today. And I, I really do enjoy that brush and I think I've even mentioned it in a favorites video because I really do like that brush for contour. And so when I saw the set finally come out at Ulta, I, I put out a tweet about it. I like to try to tweet about like new makeup releases and things like that over on my Twitter account. So I put a tweet out saying, you know, this new set is available and people were like, why is it $65 though for e.l.f. brushes? And I was like, I don't know, I'm just telling you what's available. <laughs> I'm just telling you what's new and what's out there. I did not make those prices because I can't pay $65 for 
six brushes from e.l.f. I would not be able to, even though I have one of the brushes and I think it's really good. That's still crazy to me. It's crazy. Okay, moving on, moving on. Um, this one, I actually do have this product. Actually, excuse me, let me head back to my messy desk here. But this next product is one that I do have and I would like to share another story. I'm sorry for people who don't like stories. You probably don't like my channel very much, but I started hearing people talk about Burt's Bees quite a bit. Um, I saw Kathleen Lights mention a blush in I think it was her Best of Beauty 2017 video or at least a favorites video and I've been seeing these blushes be mentioned um, quite a bit lately. So when I was at my CVS, I saw the Burt's Bees section and I saw this blush and I thought, Kathleen likes this blush, a lot of other people like this blush, I should get this blush. I picked up the shade uh, Toasted Cinnamon, which honestly I use as a blush and a bronzer, I can kind of go back and forth. I thought it looked really pretty and so I went to grab it and there was no prices. There was no, like the display was there but there was no prices anywhere. And so I picked it up and I kind of was looking at it and I was like, hmm, I mean, Burt's Bees, it's drugstore, I'm at CVS, like looking at it, I'm like, I don't feel like I see anything like super crazy. It probably shouldn't be, like in my mind, I was like, ah, oh, five or six dollars, I don't know, a single blush, surely can't be that much. So I finished up the rest of my shopping and I go to check out. And I remember when he told me the total, I thought, dang, what did I spend what did I spend all my money on? Like I know I was buying like printer paper and I think maybe I bought like makeup wipes or something. Like I'd bought a few other things as well. But still the total in my mind, I was like, dang, I didn't think it was gonna be that high. And I get in my car, I look at the receipt. This was ten dollars. Ten dollars for a single blush from CVS. I was like, ooh. Dang it, I think if I knew that, uh, I probably wouldn't have bought the blush. You know, it could have been something where I would have waited till I had some CVS, like their reward bucks or whatever they're called, extra care bucks. Maybe I would have waited for that. I would have waited for buy one, get one half off even or something. But I was like, man, I just spent $10 on one blush from the drugstore. That's, uh, that's kind of a bummer. I mean, I like it. I think it's a nice blush, but I still don't know if I would have paid $10 for it, but it was because they didn't have the prices out there. Are you trying to be sneaky CVS or what were you, what was that about? It's kind of rude. Uh, the very last item, 10th and final item, hopefully we're at 10. Sometimes I don't count my list very correctly, but this is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation or something like that. And it is $17.99, it is $18 for a drugstore foundation. I'm like, no, why, why, why? But I've been seeing other people, and I think maybe Lauren might have actually mentioned this one in her video as well, but I've seen some people use it in tutorials and it kind of has like an interesting concept of like how the actual product comes out. I don't, I've seen a few people use it in their videos and I remember, it, it was before I was making the, the list for this video, I clicked on it, like it was in someone's description box, so I clicked on it once and it took me to Ulta and I remember thinking like, Ooh, I was not expecting that price tag. And then I just kind of forgot about it. And then when I was making the list for this video and then I saw Lauren talk about it, I was like, yes, I can remember clicking that link and thinking like, well, that was a lot of money for a foundation. So I've never tried it myself. I've never purchased it. But have you guys tried this Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter Foundation? Do you think it's worth the $18? Were you able to snag it at a discount? Let me know your thoughts down below. But that was the 10th and final item for drugstore products that I think are just too expensive. Expensive. All right guys, so that's gonna be everything for today's video talking about 10 drugstore items that I feel like are just too overpriced. Again, keep in mind all of the disclaimers that I had to mention at the beginning of the video when you're gonna be leaving your comments. I would love to have some conversations down below. Do you agree with me on some of these products? What are some other drugstore products that you found were too high? And are you also someone like me who you try to wait for the deals? I would love to know because even though they're drugstore prices and some of them can still seem cheaper, I still am just a deal chaser and I wanna get the best deal that I can out there, especially because I do buy me a lot of makeup, but I would love to hear some of your thoughts and some of your products down below. As always, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to check out Lauren's video as well. It will be in my description box. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this one, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go, and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video.